Hey everybody, this is Melvin with Tech Running 24 7 and in today's video we want to show you how to airdrop on the new 11 inch iPad 2020. Now for demonstration purposes of course we have our 11 inch iPad Pro here 2020 and we have a MacBook Pro 2016 and so what we want to do is airdrop from your iPad to the MacBook. Now the first thing we need to do is make sure that a couple of things have turned on and that needs to be the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth. And so if we look over here at the MacBook Pro, our Wi-Fi is turned on and our Bluetooth is turned on. So now we just need to check our iPad Pro to see if those same things are turned on. And one way to find out that is go to the Control Center. And the way you would go to the Control Center is you go up here to the right hand corner of the screen, swipe down. And now you're in the control center and so if you look up here to the top left you'll see uh, the Wi-Fi is on and the Bluetooth is on so now you need to make sure that the iPad Pro is able to send an airdrop and the way you would do that is press right here in the middle of that screen and it will take you to this menu which will say airdrop receiver is off and so we need to tap on that and it will take us to this other menu still says receivers off we can choose either contacts only of or everyone we're going to go with everyone then we're going to tap here and now we're back at the control center then tap here again in the middle of the screen now we're back to our home screen home page and so what we want to do is um well let me say this to airdrop you can generally airdrop in documents or photos and so we chose everyone and we chose everyone because it may be one or two people we want to airdrop in our vicinity. And so that will allow us to pick up any Apple devices that's near us and we can choose which one we want to airdrop to. So we're going to go with a picture. So we're going to go down to our gallery, tap on our gallery and open it up. And then we're going to go to our quick picks. And so in our quick picks album, we have four pictures. We're going to go with this one first. And this is a picture of an office setting. And then we're gonna go up to the top of the screen and you'll see this symbol here over to the left. And it looks like a square with an arrow in it. And that is your airdrop symbol. So tap on that. Once you tap on that, this next menu will pop up and we'll see airdrop and we wanna airdrop it. So we're gonna tap that. Then it will bring up an additional menu that says airdrop. Now in scanning the area, it came up with two Apple devices. One says Mel's iPhone 10, and the other one said Melvin's MacBook Pro. So we wanted to send it to the MacBook Pro. We'll tap here, and it says waiting. Then it sent a message over to the MacBook Pro and says that uh, someone's trying to send you an airdrop. Do you want to accept? We say yes, and say save it to our downloads. And so now it's in the process of sending it. It just sent it here, and then it sent a message saying it has been sent, and or we can has been sent and we can open it. Tap there to open it and voila there is our pick. I'm gonna grab it and put it in the middle of the screen here and uh, blow it up. And as you can see it is of that office setting and we're gonna zoom it back down and then we're gonna come out. Then we come back over here and say done and X out there and then we can go back to our quick picks and then let's try to send something else. Let's send this uh, picture here of this room it looks like a living room possibly at a home and we want to do the same thing too as airdrop it go up to that same symbol the box with the arrow in it pointing up tap on that it has selected the uh, picture we wanted to see and then we're going to hit airdrop of course it scan the room again comes back up with a uh, Mel's iPhone 10 or Melvin's MacBook Pro go with the MacBook Pro is waiting to send it now it's waiting for the to be accepted we're going to say accept save the downloads say it's saying waiting here and then it just sent it now it's showing that it has been sent over here on a macbook pro hit open and as you can see that picture has been sent and if we hit done here you can see that's the picture on both devices so we're gonna X out of that again. And I wanna show you one other thing while we're doing uh, the airdropping here. And 
we're going to go back to our quick picks and what I want to show you is that you actually can send multiple items also uh, through airdrop and so what we want to do is we're going to hit select again and then we're going to choose two items we're going to choose these last two picks here and those two picks have been chosen and then you the airdrop symbol has moved over here and that is the uh, box with the arrow pointing up tap on that and it has the two chosen so you can see a little bit of the picture here and the other picture here so we hit airdrop there then we're going to choose Melvin's MacBook Pro again it says waiting it sent a message over here to accept we're going to accept it again and it says waiting and it's sending the uh, pictures it has been received now we can hit open and when we hit open now you'll see that it has two pictures I'm gonna slide this over just a little bit two pictures in it there's one picture here which is this then the other picture here and if we click on that it'll show you that it is the other picture so that's the one picture this is the other picture here and so we'll go back to our iPad Pro hit done exit out and of course like I said these are the picks that's the one pick there and go back and then this is the second pick and if we look on the iPad Pro that is the second pick there also so that's about it for our video for today how to airdrop on the new 11 inch iPad Pro 2020 so hopefully we shared something that you can use and something that was beneficial if so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and hit the like button and don't forget to hit the uh, bell icon so you can be notified of new content as soon as we release it and again this is melvin with tech running 24 7 bringing you technology that's on the move thanks